शंकर लोक शंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाजरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवत्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त सहनागोत सहनौ घुन सह वीरकर वह तेजस्वीतमस्मा विषा वह ओं शांति धातुरुरंभव संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यातमुच्यते प्रकृति सुबंताधातुब्रह्म नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम्यक्त संभव मंडस्यांत मे लोका सप्तवीपा चे दिन Let's go back to the last verse, where we were uh, trying to look at this last verse of the 16th chapter. Last or was it second last? Sorry. So kama karuta. We are trying to understand this word kama karuta. So this word, we said that it is possibilities of prathama and panchami. So prathama by tasin pratya. and then upapada tatpurusha we saw by kamakara but then another possibility is given by bhagwan tika kara here so you can look at this tika here kamasya karanam kamakara so it takes this kara which is generally not seen the usage krudhatu can be used as karaha usually only when the it's an upapada tatpurusha but then karaha there is what we saw is it is and pratyanta but another possibility is as kara can be an independent word which is rare but then possible with ghai pratya so ghai pratyanta shabda karaha kru plus ara and ghai is in the sense of and ghai is a sense of uh, here it is used as bhave vitpatti in bhave vitpatti it is used and thereby says kamasya karanam kamakaraha so kamasya karanam doing said so karana here looks like bhave vitpatti there as an explanation to uh, here basically kartari utpatti it is actually ghai is usually seen as a kartari vitpatti but other possibilities are there and here you see it is in the karana meaning so doing this kam uh, kamasya karanam kamakaraha and tasmad hetu this is the panchamya artha that i was explaining the kamakara word is interpreted slightly differently you get a similar shade of meaning but then panchamya arthe tasil is seen as hetu tasmad hetu that kama karanam becomes the hetu उपेत्य कामाधीना शास्त्र विमुख से प्रवृत्ति त्याग कामेति एंड देर बाय वी अंडरस्टैंड दी व्युत्पत्ति आल्सो नाउ सो दिस इज अनदर पॉसिबिलिटी दैट भगवान टीका का एक्सप्लेन्स ओके मूविंग ऑन टू दी सेकंड वर्स ऑफ दी सेवेंटीन चैप्टर व्हिच इज व्हाट वी आर लुकिंग एट so here samanya vishaya ayam prashna the prashna which was here you see arjuna vacha ye shastra vidhi mutsrujya yajante shraddhyanvitah tesha nishtha tu ka krishna sattvam aho rajastamah whether the nishtha of those who follow their shraddha and thereby worship the Whoever they have shraddha in worship, whoever they have shraddha in, without following the shastra vidhi, giving up the shastra vidhi, what is their their lot? What is their nishtha? Is it sattva, rajas, or tamas that was asked? And Bhagwan Bhasha kare samanya vishaya ayam prashna. The general question na apravi bhajjam prati vachanam arhati iti Shri Bhagwan Uvach. So Bhagwan Krishna is not giving a specific answer he gives a general answer first to what has been asked and what is the general answer who wants to take this
I can try. Yeah. I will try. Okay. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha <coughs> Trivida Abhavati Shraddha Dehinam Shasva Bhavaja Satviki Rajasi Chaiva Tamasi Tamasi Cheti Tam Shrunu Okay. The Padachada will be uh, Trivida Bhavati Shraddha Dehinam Sa Sobhavaja Satviki Rajasi Cha Eva Tamasi Cha Iti Tam Shrunu. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, uh, verb is actually Bhavati and Shrunu. Bhavati is a Shraddha Trivida Bhavati. So Bhavati Pratama Prasav Ekochana. Uh, sorry, Pratama Prasav, yeah. Then uh, Shraddha is, of course, one one. And Trivida is also one one. Yeah. Then Dehinam is uh, six three Shasti Shasti Vibhakti Bahu Vachanam. Then Sasvabhavaja is again Pratama Ekvachanam. Then Satviki Rajasi all are Pratama Ekvachanam. Cha is Avyaya. Eva is Avyaya. Then Tamasi is also Pratama Ekvachanam. Cha Avyaya, Iti Avyaya. Tam is Dvitiya Bahu Vachanam. And Shrunu is Dvitiya uh, Vibhakti Ekvachanam Madhyamu Purusha Lodhakara. Madhyamu Purusha? Uh, everything. Chaiti and then Tam Shrunu can come in the last. Sasavhavaja. Yeah, all this Satviki Rajasi Chayeva Tamasi. Ji. Sa Satviki Rajasi Rajas Tamasi Chayeva. Yeah. Uh, Rajasi Chayeva. Okay. Sa Satviki Rajasi Chayeva Tamasi Chayeti. Sabhavaja Bhavati. Sabhavaja. Okay. Sabhavaja Bhavati. Tam Shrunu then. You can just can so size there. Okay, Shraddha. Okay, you have to make size there, so you have to make a yeah. separate sentence. So Tam Shrunu. Yeah, Tam Shrunu. Tam Shrunu. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So Trividha. Trividha is this uh, yeah. prakat prakaravachidha pratyaji. So Trividha means tri pra, tri prakara of three types of shraddha. Shraddha is of three types. For whom? For dehis. Yasyam nishthayam tom prachasi. So the question is about their nishtha. Where is their nishtha? Is it in sattva? Is it uh, sattva? What kind of sattva? So the Vishaya of the Nishtha is asked and that is answered in the Shloka as Yasyam Nishthayan Tom Prachasi, that is of three types. Dehi Nam is equal to Sharira Nam. So Deha Asya Asti, Deha is Sharira, Sa Sabhavaja. And what is Sabhavaja there? Sabhavaja, born, ja, ja is there. Here Jandhatu plus uh, Janir Da, uh, Janir Ja and then uh, Da Pratya. So, Dittwat Abhasyapi Tir Lopaha. So, T Lopa has taken place. Jan has lost his An there, Dhatu, and it has become Ja. But uh, in, the, in the compounding. So, not Janer Ja there. Uh, here it is due to compounding with, and there is a Da Pratya. So, Da Pratya is a Dit Pratya. Therefore, Dittwat. There is a bhasya, bhasya um, in Ashtadhe, there, uh, there is a bhasya adhikara. There, one sutra is there. Uh, actually, it's uh, there is a vartika there, a bhasya api. So, the, there the bhasya lopaha, 
that is said there, but abhasya pyangasya. Here there is no bhasanya. Bhasanya, those who have studied Subanta in Lagu, you know, bhasanya, padasanya. So bhasanya causes tilopa, but here abhasya api ditvat tilopa. If it is a dit pratyaya, then it causes tilopa. T is everything starting with the last vowel. In jandhatu, it is an. So an is elided. And the pratya content is a, therefore ja becomes uh, this jakara becomes ja. Jandhatu, jakara is left. Jakara plus akara is ja. And in Sri Linga, it has become ja. So savavaja is what? Savava ja. Savavaja means jataha. That which is born out of savava. So this has to be explained now. Born out of svabhava. What is that? Trivida Shraddha. The Shraddha is born out of svabhava. So now one has to understand what is this svabhava. How can Shraddha be born out of svabhava? So this has to be understood. So Bhagavan Bhashyakara glosses over that by saying Janmantara Krutaha Dharmadi Samskaraha. That is svabhava. Anya Janmaha uh, Anya um, anyam janma. Janma is Napunsa Kalinga. But the compound is Anya Anyat Janma Janmantara. And Janmantara Krutaha Dharmadi Samskara. The Samskara which is Dharmadi. Dharmadi Samskara which is gathered in the earlier Janmas. What happens there? There, Marana Kale, at the point of death, at the time of death, Abhivyaktaha Svabhava Ujjate, whatever manifests then, based on the entire set of samskaras which one has gathered, entire set of karmas that one has done, all these, meaning the entire life, the way a person has led one's life, defines the thought at the last moment marana kala then whatever is manifest that samskara dharmadi samskara is called as svabhava svabhava uchyate and svabhavat jataha jata here sri linga therefore svabhava jata ya sa sa svabhava jata sa svabhava ja so that samskara which is born due to so that samskara is svabhava. So samskara jataha. Dharmadi samskara. Then what is that dharmadi samskara? Janmantare. Janmantare maranakale. In another janma, during the moment of death, whatever was the samskara which manifested, abhivyakta, that is called as svabhava. And from that samskara, this shraddha is born. Shraddha is svabhavaja. Therefore, one does not know why one is born with that kind of Shraddha. Some Shraddha is shaped up in culture. But then that particular Samskara which led to a Janma in a particular family where culturally something or the other is followed, that is due to the person Shraddha which is due to the Samskara at the manifest at the point of death. That will bring a particular Varnashrama, a particular place in everything. Everything defining the mo moment of death, including the Varanashrama, Ityadi, Deshakala, everything. And the Shraddha that is there within, one is born with, that is called as Svabhava here. Sorry, um, Samskara, which leads to the Samskara is Svabhava, and that Samskara leads to Shraddha, which one is born with Svabhavaja. What are these? That is of three types. Satviki. Satviki Shraddha is Sattva Nirvrtta. So here, you know, accomplished. Nirvrtta generally means accomplished, but here that which is in the form of Sattva. What is that? Deva Pujadi Vishaya. So how does this Satviki Shraddha manifest? It is that which subjects a person to or brings interest into Deva Pujadi. So that is the Shraddha. One is Shraddha in Deva Pujadi Vishaya Shraddha. That is Shatviki Shraddha. Rajasi Shraddha is what? Rajo Nirurta. Manifest due to 
rajas such as what so here it is this itself is deva puja adi vishaya dharmiki here yaksha raksha yaksha raksha puja adi vishaya so the yaksha raksha other ganas gana devatas or not really devatas but then can considered as you know sevakas also to those devas so they have their own uh, you know they have their powers so people who worship them they get some for dhana for uh, you know for other siddhis some you know in tantra there is lot of talk about this you know yaksha yakshini all these are there they they give siddhis was bordering on a little uh, you know it's a trap it's, it's a trap which uh, we have seen in the uh, Six chapter of uh, Gita, uh, you know, when we revisited that in, with the Bhagwan Madhusudan Saraswati Tika, there we saw that Siddhis are mentioned as a trap which block the samadhi in Yoga Shastra. So these uh, people who are interested, they are interested for a very. They are not interested in samadhi, obviously. even uh, even in uh, sampradaya people want to get to dev puja di vidhis they take diksha for these and then they lose their way because some of these devas are very difficult to please so they take they start looking at other options and with other options some are very easy to please very very easy to anger also but then they give immediate results so people take to this yaksha raksha puja di vishaya shraddha so that shraddha comes up which may have been there earlier but then one once one starts deva puja di vishaya there is no anugraha of deva because in the earlier janma there was never so much shraddha for deva so one has some sattva which leads the person to dev puja adi vishaya but one may not be able to continue then one drops off into starts looking at other options which can give quick results and then one gets trapped in siddhis thereby rajasi shraddha which was hidden so far which is swabhavaja that starts manifesting or someone may be interested only in this initially itself one may be interested in siddhis i am saying that here one may start with satvika interest but then soon it may tumble down into rajasi rajasi shraddha because of earlier samskaras so one has to be alert you know uh, because the ragadveshas are many if one has no control then this can lead to a fall here then the third is tamasi shraddha what is this tamasi tamasi shraddha is tamo nirvrutta which is preta pishachadi puja vishaya so smashana sadhana and people do lots of things it is there in tantra so here sattva nirvrutta you start with dev puja adi vishaya which is vaidika karya or even in tantra also there is a division of uh, you know what they call as right handed path so there is uh, you know samaya chara and then leading to kaula chara here so all this you know people is again even with raksha, yaksha raksha puja vishaya one may even find something even much easier to get and very dangerous so one may land here preta pishachadi puja vishaya or one may initially itself have shraddha there when i knew a person who was interested in kaula sadhana kaula marga and then he he started showing his kundli to lot of people whatever they said he started you know just uh, looking for more options he said no this is this guy is not good let me look for another jyotishi and another jyotishi till he landed on someone who confirmed that he can get siddhi easily with kaula marga so there was pravrutti initially so he was looking for jyotishi who would confirm confirm what he likes to do and then that manifests 
so he he went into that marga because there are easier you know faster results unfortunately they have they are more dangerous one may you know i mean it's it's a loss of life is bare minimal risk there <laughs> that is bare minimal becoming preta pishacha is is even worse and having you know lost the opportunity of uh, manushya sharira and moksha leading to even you know worse yonis that is worse janmas that's another trap here assuming that one can get out of that trap and get a body even so you know the preta pishaj they themselves have their own issues by helping the sadakas they they get an option out and the, the sadaka remains trapped there so all these are very dangerous areas but they are there in tantra so so this is you know just hinted by bhagwan krishna evam trividham tam uchchamanam shraddham shrunu avadharaya so why shrunu he is already listening i mean 16 chapters he has been listening but specifically shrunu means attain pay attention to this this is an important part so he says evam trividham tam uchchamanam this will come up so it is not ending here this is just an opening statement and these will be dealt with he'll talk about these what is that the shraddha which is trividha so listen to these three types and then further he says sayam trividha bhavati and this trividha shraddha what kind of shraddha leads to what so this is a little specific to what he had mentioned generally right now who wants to take this verse i will try yes please ्रद्र सोयच्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद्रद
So what is really being said is Satvanurupa if Satva is not Satva Guna. So Bhagavan Bhashikar Satvanurupa means Vishishta. Something Vishishta Samskara Upe Upeta Antakarana Rupa. Satva is Antakarana. So Antakarana Rupa Shraddha. Whatever is the Antakarana, Antakarana is a resultant of what? Of the Marana Kala. Earlier Janma Marana Kala, whatever Swabhava is there. That will decide the Janma and Janma needs a particular Antakkarana association. That Antakkarana is already there. So Antakkarana has to be reconfigured. It is reconfigured. Antakkarana is there as long as the Jiva is there. Across Kalpas also it survives in Bija Rupa. But then it manifests based on the type of Janma. In whichever Sharira the Janma is due, the Antakkarana becomes reconfigured to that particular Sharira. And not only Sharira, it is also based on whatever Sauskaras are ready to fructify in manifest form so that a person's Bhoga is satisfied. Based on the Prarabdha which is due for fructification, based on the Karma that the person is interested to do, all of these will decide the sharira and the, the coloring of the mind. Therefore, the reconfiguration is in many ways to fit that janma, to fit that prarabdha of the jiva. That is the sattva antakkarana and antakkarana anurupa. Their sattva antakkarana anurupa is vishishta samskara upeta antakkarana anurupa. So what kind of antakkarana? That reconfigured. Based on the samskaras, which should be there in that, which should be manifest in this janma, based on that, Vishishta samskara opeta antakkarana rupa sarvasya, sarvasya is prani jatasya. Sarvasya shraddha bhati is prani jatasya. The entire prani jata, jata there is, is, is a group. So prani jata is group of pranis. The entire group of pranis has shraddha based on this Vishishta Samskara Upeta Antakkarana in keeping with that Antakkarana. Yadi evam tataha kim syaditi. Okay, let it be so. How does it connect to the context? Iti ucchate. If that is the question, how does it connect to the context? That is mentioned here. Shraddha mayaha ayam purushaha. So this, a particular person out of this entire prani jata, if you pick any jiva, then that any jiva, any person because karma adhikara is for purusha the gita shastra is tuned towards this this jiva who is among the pranis she has to understand the jiva goes through many prani units to get the manushya janma and here itself moksha is possible therefore shraddhamaya ayam purusha is shraddhamaya shraddha praya is committed to particular shraddha that's Shraddha Pai, Shraddha Yukta, you can say. This Purusha, who is that Samsari Jeeva? Who has Samsarana across many Prani Unis and then finally becomes a human being. That is a Samsari Jeeva. He has an opportunity to put an end. So his Shraddha will define what he may do in this Janma. Katham, how so? Yaha Yash Shraddha. And Yash Shraddha is what? It's a Bahuri. Yash Shraddha Yasya Jeevasya. So that jiva, whatever shraddha one has, he is that kind of jiva. So yashraddha, sahayeva, saha means what? Sahayeva, tachraddhanu rupa. So yashraddhanu rupa, tachraddhanu rupa. Eva saha jiva is that jiva. Meaning if he has satviki shraddha, then is sattva shraddha. If he has uh, Rajasik Shraddha, then he is Rajas Shraddha or Rajas Rajasi Shraddha. So the compound can be given different names. That person can be given a different name based on what is a Shraddha. Thereby, the question that Arjuna has asked, what is their lot? What is their Nishtha? So Nishtha depends on what is their Shraddha. 
So Shraddhyan with all right, but then Shraddha itself, if the Shraddha is Satviki, then he'll be Sattva Shraddha and so on. So that is the general answer. Tatascha Karyena Lingena Devadi Puja Sattva Dinishta Anumeya Ityaha. Now, how do you know that which Shraddha one has based on their behavior? Whom do they commit themselves to? Based on that, you can know what is anybody's Shraddha. So it is not only for knowing others, one can know one's own Shraddha. So that is said here in the fourth verse. Who wants to take this? So Anumya means it can be inferred. You infer by this uh, Sattva Dinishta, Tatascha Karyena Lingena. That is Anumeya Shraddha Anumeya. What is that Shraddha? If it is Sattva Dinishta, Sattva Nishtha, Adipadena, other, other two, that can be inferred based on Deva, Devadi Puja. Whether the person does Devadi Puja, then Sattva Nishtha. If one does Yaksha Raksha, Raksha Puja, then Rajasi Nishtha and so on. So that Karya, Puja becomes a Karya. And uh, puja being a karya, it becomes a linga. It's an indicator to understand, infer their nishtha. So, what is the next verse? Who wants to take this? Yeah, Yajante Satvika Devan Yakshara Raksham Si Rajasaha Pretan Bhutaganans Chani. Yajante Devan Yaksha Rakshamsi Rakshamsi Rajasaha Pretan Bhuta Ganam Ganan Cha Anye Yajante Tamasaha Janaha Yajante Pratama Purusha Bahu Vachana Satvikaha Pratama Vibhakti Bahu Vachana Devan is Vitya Vibhakti Bahu Vachana Yaksha Rakshamsi is Vitya Bahu Vachana Rajasaha is Pratama Bahuachana, Pretan Vitya Bahuachana, Bhuta Ganan Vitya Bahuachana, Chavyaya, Anye Avyaya. Anye is one three, two three, okay, one three. Yajante is a ha. So Tamasaha is a one three, Janaha one three. So Satvikaha, Janaha, Devan Yajante. Satvikaha Deva, uh, sorry, Satvikaha Deva Nijante, okay. Rajasaha Yaksha Rakshamsi Anye Tamasaha Janaha. Pretan Bhuta Ganancha Yajante Okay. So Yajanti, Yajanti means Puja Yanti. Who are these Satvikaha? Satvika means Sattva Nishtaha. So Satve Nishtaha, Satve Nishtha Yeshante, Sattva Nishtaha, this Bauri. Devan whom? They worship devas. Yaksharakshamsi. Rajasaha Yaksharakshamsi Yajante. So Rajasas worship Yaksharakshas. This has gone by. It is just an elaboration of that. Pretan Bhuta Ganancha Yajante. And what are these Bhuta Ganas? Bhuta Ganas express Sapta Matraka Dincha Anne Yajante Tamasaha Janaha. So Tamasa Tamas Tamasika people worship Pretas and Bhuta Ganas. Ganas are groups. So, Ganas of groups of Bhutas, who are those Saptamatraka? There are some specific uh, categories, they are mentioned here. So, that is the fourth verse. Evam Karyataha Nirnitaha Sattva Dinishtaha Shastra Vidyut Sarge. 
तत्र कश्चिदेव सहस्रेशु देव पूजादि पूजादि पर सत्वनिष्ठा भवती सत्वनिष्ठा भवती बाहुल्येन तो रजोनिष्ठा तमोनिष्ठाश्च प्राणिनो भवंती कथम सदी हियर भगवान भाष्यकार से बेस्ड ऑन देर कार्य कार्येण निर्णीता सत्वादि निष्ठा शास्त्र विद्युत सर्गे सो बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट दे डू व्हाट कार्य इन विच एवर कार्य एकम्प्लिशिंग विच एवर कार्य देर एंगेज इन विच एवर एंगेजमेंट दे आर सीन बाय दैट यू मेक अ निर्णय वेदर दे आर सत्वादि निष्ठा दे आर सत्व निष्ठा रजो निष्ठा और तमो निष्ठा नाउ वेन यू आर लुकिंग एट दी and trying to understand what is their nishtha then tatra kaschideva deva teshu in all these sattvaadi nishthaha purushaha who do you see usually what do you see kaschi deva sahasreshu pu deva poojaadi paraha sattva nishtha bhavati there is only kaschi dhiraha who is deva poojaadi paraha most of them बाहुल्येन तो रजो निष्ठा तमो निष्ठाश्च प्राणिनो मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर कमिटेड टू इधर रजस और तमस वाई बिकॉज दे एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स क्विक रिजल्ट वी मे नॉट नो देर एंगेजमेंट दे मे नॉट इवन नो दैट हू दे आर प्लेइंग टू आर तामसिक एंड राजसिका दीटीज दे मे नॉट नो दैट दे आर Rajasika and Tamasika, they'll because what one prays to, based on that one can know. See, Bhagwan Himself manifests in all these forms, in every form. He shares in every form. And earlier also, Bhagwan has said, whoever one worships in whichever form, I myself appear in that form and help that person get results. So even. whatever is prayed to and achieved by praying to pratas and bhutas also ishwara himself is in their form and helps them gain but the results are very limited everything is limited to whatever is the capacity of the deity and the attitude and approach sanskara etc of the the praying साधका और पर्सन मे नॉट बी ए साधक एट ऑल देर बाय मोस्ट ऑफ देम ऑल दो इट मे नॉट बी एक्सैक्टली एज टू दे मे नॉट बी वर्शिपिंग प्रेतास एंड भूतास बट इन द गण देवतास दे आर इंक्लूडेड सो सम ऑफ देम मे नॉट नो बट देर एटीट्यूड विल टेल देम एज टू वॉट इज वॉन्टेड by which means based on that we it can be seen that most of them bahulyena by majority rajonishta and tamonishta so need not necessarily be committed to devas but what they really want is rajasika and tamasika results thereby even when they are praying to anyone their result will invoke that as, aspect of ishwara so this is a little uh, Uh, involved here because bhagwan himself has said that i appear in the form of everyone so we can even read more into it and see that even if they are not praying to these still because they are praying with a particular attitude invoking a particular aspect of the lord thereby ishwara will manifest in that form not in the forms that they are specifically worshiping but with the attitude of that they are worshiping and what exactly they want bhagwan has to take that rupa so the deity himself may appear in a different form that's why you see in a good way we'll see in a good way you see that there are those who are committed to ishwara in they you know the, the ishta devata the ishta devata they ask anything and everything from that very ishta devata whether that ishta devata has the capacity in the sense that in purana katha or any katha if that deity is not mentioned for other purposes only a particular purpose but still one wants to ask everything from the ishta devata then what will happen ishwara has to take that role 
separate from the limitations of the ishta devata and give results if they are to be given that is why the shraddha increases the shraddha of the sadhaka increases in that particular deity guru whatever in a particular aspect particular form and they have their own anubhavas of beyond the expressions given beyond the explanations and expressions given about that that devata as to that devata can't give anything more than this or only a certain role that devata can play but still they do get what they want there is anubhava of some many people that is because of ishwara's manifesting beyond that form into some other form and thereby switching as well switching from sattva to rajas to to tamas that's why we should be careful of what we ask for from whom we ask and what do we ask the attitude and shraddha changes brings about a change in the deity also this is a possibility it's an extension from what bhagwan has mentioned earlier as i myself appear in all forms and deepen their shraddha in the earlier chapter we have seen anyway so what we see here is that most of them are committed to not to De deva puja adi but to others not to sattva but they are committed to rajas and tamas katham how is that so so there the fifth verse is mentioned here who wants to take this i will try yeah. okay अशास्त्र विहित घोरम तप्यंते ये तपोजना दंबाहंकार संयुक्ता कामराग बलान्विता सिंपल अशास्त्र विहित घोरम तप्यंते ये तप जना दंबाहंकार संयुक्ता कामराग बलान्विता क्रियापद तप्यंते तृतीय बहुवचन तृतीय प्रथम पुरुष बहुवचन शास्त्रवीतम गोरम इज अगेन टू वन दंबाहंकार संयुक्त Yeah, you can take that. Part. So the unveil is not complete there. Yeah, it goes to the so next actually. So we'll see anyway. Yeah. We'll come. We'll finish. So ye ye kama raga balan vita ha santa ha damba hankara sanyukta ha jana ha. So those who are endowed with damba hankara samyak yukta so very well endowed completely. immersed in this driven by these rather driven by this and kama raga balanvitaha also endowed with what kama raga 
and we can say bala also separately or we can say kama bala and raga bala so many ways it's possible those janaha tapah tapyante or we can say ye uh, or we can ye kama raga bala anvitah janaha te we can add te and complete the anvaya here itself okay okay so we'll complete the anvaya by saying adding te here घोरम तप तप्यंते सो दे दे फॉलो दी तप तपस टू बी denying something to oneself but it's not torture it is not something which is not explained by shastra the shastra says you do this kind of a tapas this will lead to this kind of punya then only that kind of tapas has to be followed there are people who do something extreme ghora but it is not shastra vihita so it is not going to get person is not going to get punya in fact he is torturing the body which is entrusted to the jiva so it will give papa really so one one should not do you know some extraordinary feats i can do all this as a dharma kare one should do so that is mentioned here ashastra vitam what is ashastra vitam na shastra vitam shastrena na vitam it is not said by shastra that you do this tapas that is ashastra vitam and ghoram is what pida karm really prani nam pida karm atmanascha whether it troubles others or oneself atmanascha that tapa is called as ghora tapah tapyante means nirvartayanti so nirvartayanti they accomplish that they perform those who are those ye jana ha te cha te cha damba hankara sanyukta ha and they are, and this uh, samasa there is damba cha hankara cha damba hankaro tabhyam sanyukta ha so those who are endowed with dambha and ahankara that is a samasa there and kama raga balanvita these people are what kamascha ragascha kama ragau satkrutam balam so kama bala and raga bala that is how the samasa is explained that is kama raga balam tena anvita ha is kama raga balanvita ha so here we have completed to explain this it can go further as well So what's the next verse here in continuation? We'll just take this. Anyone? I will try. Yeah. Okay. कर्षयंतर ओके ओके सो पदच्छेदर्षय शरीरस्थ भूतग्राम अचेत मरीरस्थि मध्यम पुरुष एक वचना and uh, okay. okay karshayanta will be 
ಪ್ರಥಮ ಬಹುವಚನ ಶರೀರಸ್ಥಂ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಏಕವಚನ ಭೂತಗ್ರಾಮ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಏಕವಚನ ಅಚೇತ ಸಹ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಬಹುವಚನ ದೆನ್ ಮಾಂ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಏಕವಚನ ಚ ಎವ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅವ್ಯಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಸ್ ಅವ್ಯಯ ಅಂತ ಶರೀರಸ್ಥಂ ಓಕೆ ಅಂತ ಶರೀರಸ್ಥಂ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟು ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ತಾನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಬಹುವಚನ ವಿದ್ಯಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೆ ದೆನ್ ಅಸುರ ನಿಶ್ಚಯಾನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ಟು ಬಹು ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಬಹುವಚನ so here uh, sharirastham karshayantah so sharirant sharirastham karshayantah antah bhuta gramam bhuta gramam achetatah bhuta gramam sharirastham bhuta sharirastham bhuta gramam karshayantah karshayantah so that karshayanta it's afflicting you can see this. right now we just say the afflicting what bhuta gramam grama is a group so which is inside the sharira so indriya indriya gram bhuta gram can take it as bhuta karya which is indriyas which are in the sharira and what is the tapas to tapas etc which is what ashastra vihitam karshayanta and then what achetasa those who are achetas are their nanjas like you know they don't use their buddhi so therefore avivekina ityartha and maam cha maam cha anta sharirastham maam so which kind of me i who am in each and every sharira where indriyas are also there in the sharira sharirastham anta sharirastham what is the difference sharirastham means anta sharirastham only but anta sharir is pratyag pratyagatma so here karshayanta can be taken later na bhuta gramam karshayanta maam cha achetasa can we not take achetasa first yeah we are shifting that yeah okay, achetasa okay, okay. so we can take here uh, karshayanta but uh, uh, sharirastham bhuta karshayanta maam cha karshayanta hmm cha karshayanta bhuta gramam bhuta gramam ಶರೀರಸ್ಥಂ ಭೂತಗ್ರಾಮ ಅಂತಃಶರೀರಸ್ಥಂ ಮಾಂ ಚರ್ಶಯಂತ ಅಚೇತಸ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಚೇತಸ ದಿಸ್ ಕರ್ಷಯಂತ ಇಫ್ ಅಚೇತಸ ಗೋಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರ್ಷಯಂತ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆ ಕರ್ಷಯಂತ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಸ್ ಅಚೇತಸ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಷಯಂತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಶರೀರಸ್ಥಂ ಭೂತಗ್ರಾಮ ಅಂತಃಶರೀರಸ್ಥಂ ಮಾಂ ಚ ಕರ್ಷಯಂತ ಎ ಅಚೇತಸ they what about them and so with so we can say eva also there eva also we can put there karshanta achetasah tan asur nichayan vidhi so you know them as what tan asur nichayan vidhi so you know this these to be asura nichaya people these these they they themselves are asura nischaya nischaya is the those who have so here asura nischaya is is a person there the tan it should go with tan asura nischan tan means what tan should go with what ye here so you can add ye here to yat yat shabda is missing that shabda is given here so here you have to look at ye ye sharirastham bhutagramu antas sharirastham maam cha eva ಕರ್ಷಯಂತ ಎ ಅಚೇತಸ ಸೊ ಎ ಅಚೇತಸ ತಾನ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹೌ ತಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ವೆದರ್ ತಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ತಾನ್ ಆಸುರ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ತಾನ್ ಸೊ ದೋಸ್ ತಾನ್ ಆಸುರ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ವಿದ್ಯಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ತಾನ್ ಆಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಸುರ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ has to be bahuri because it is qualifying these people ye so ye karshayanta tan asura nischayan vidhi so therefore asura nischayan if it becomes person then nischaya is not the person therefore it is bahuri 
आसुर आसुर निश्चय ये ते आसुर निश्चय तान आसुर निश्चया विधि कर्षयंत मीन वोट कृषि कुरुंत कृषि कुरुंत मीन ब्रिंगिंग कृष दोज एफ्लिक ट्रबल इन सिंपल वर्ड्स दे ट्रबल हूम डू दे ट्रबल शरीरस्थम भूत ग्रामम दिस सेट ऑफ भूत आज विद इन एंड वॉट इज भूत आज देर करण करण समुदाय सो ग्राम इज समुदाय एंड भूत हियर इज इन देंस ऑफ करण बिकॉज ऑफ बीइंग भूत कार्य A pot can be called as clay also if it is a clay pot. Look at that, you know the clay. So it is from the karana you can address this bhuta is pancha mahabhuta. Pancha mahabhuta is in that bhuta. Subtle bhutas give rise to antakarana ityadi, not antak antakarana and all the indriyas also. Indriyas also resultant of these. Sukshma stula bhutas are pancha mahabhuta. So that is bhuta. So bhuta gram is karana samudaya. And in Dvitiya, it will become Bhuta Gramam Karana Samudayam, which is what Shari Rastam, which is present in the Shari Shari. Now, Shari itself is Bhuta Karya, but it can also be called as Bhuta. But then Shari Rastam has been said Shari Shari Re Tishta Tithi Shari Rastha. But here it is in neuter um, Indriya Grama Grama. No, it it can be pulling. Huh? So here it is in Dvitiya. Dvitiya Yogi. सो शरीरे शरीरे शरीरस्थः तम शरीरस्थम एंड एंड देन अंतशरीरे अंतशरीरस्थः अहम देन तम अंतशरीरस्थम माम सेज भगवान आई एम आल्सो प्रेजेंट दे डोंट टॉर्चर दी बॉडी एंड देयर बाय ओनली दी सेंस ऑर्गन्स they also torture me within because the jiva who is connected with the deha deha being troubled the jiva is troubled and the indriyas being troubled the jiva is troubled and bhagwan himself is in the form of jiva so bhagwan is troubled that is said here and therefore they are what they are they don't use their buddhi their avivekis they don't follow the shastras shastra vita tapa they are not doing therefore asur nischayan vidhi and achetasa avivekina this is the meaning there they don't have viveka and maam che eva tatkarma buddhi sakshi bhuta one who is sakshi bhuta jiva is troubled but then the sakshi also feels hey, it is the super impose on the sakshi also तत्कर्म बुद्धि साक्षी भूतम अंत शरीरस्थम नारायण कर्षयन दे आर इंसल्टिंग दि जीवा दि ईश्वर हू इज इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ जीवा दे आर ट्रबलिंग दि आत्मा सो दट हाउ इट कैन बी टेकन एंड वॉट इज दिस कर्षण हियर मदनुशासना करणम मत्कर्षण If you don't follow what Bhagwan says in Shastra, not following that itself is akarana. Akarana itself is matkarshanam. Tan vidhi asura nischayan. What is asura nischayan there? Asura nischaye shamte asura nischaya ha. And then tan vidhi. Why should I know them as asura nischaya? Because pariharana artham. So that you can give up. the qualities and not become asura nischaya uh, need not be person here it can also be gram uh, anyway it can taken be taken in multiple ways it is not the um, karya itself here it is sharirastham bhut it is not indriya itself but whatever is afflicting it can also go with this asur nischayan can also go with the karya itself pariharanartham so that one stops doing that kind of tapas therefore vidhi so that is the sixth verse where shraddha traya has been discussed now based on the shraddha the karma has been discussed based on the shraddha what kind of karma the puja ityadi karya has been discussed now it is not limited only to that kind of karya dharmika adharmika karya but it is also 
going to define the attitude of the person further into what kind of food attraction towards the food will also be dependent upon this sattva rajas and tamas which has manifest swabhava swabhavaja shraddha leads to swabhavaja puja or shraddha led by shraddha there is some categorization of de devatas one is interested in devatas or rakshasas or whatever and then one does their puja further the tapas also is based on that now here ahara is also going to be discussed ahara tapaha dana all this is going to be discussed in detail based on any categorization we talked about based on whether rajas sattva rajas or tamas is driving so this categorization of rajasika satvika rajasika and tamasika goes all the way to shape up a person's life that is mentioned here and thereby karma and the resultant of that karma will also defined by this how the earlier marana kala is the sanskara leads to this kind of a personality here and what drives that sanskara in each life is shown so that is the setup here we'll see more in the next part of starting with the seventh introduction seventh words introduction narayana paro vyakta andam avyakta sambhu andasyantasti me loka sapta dvipa ch me jini any questions i have a question hello ha ye sama sorry kalyan sir was asking something kalyan ji did you have something did you have something no no she can go ahead no problem okay anyone no? uh, uh, i did not understand this uh, karma buddhi sakshi bhutam karshayantaha tat karma buddhi sakshi bhutam hmm so when sakshi by very nature is unaffected how can no that's why i said superimpose now you look at it uh, you are a sakshi towards something okay some let's say some uh, somebody is being hit on the road you are mm-hmm. a sakshi are you affected or are you not affected by looking at it you are a sakshi right but are, mm-hmm. why are you affected if you are a sakshi even if you are not involved you are not being hit so someone tells you why why are you you know getting upset but you do get upset so this is taking this the sakshi is- separate from brahma sakshi is, otherwise you look at it ishwara why does ishwara claim to be affected at all why does ishwara say why does krishna say that krishna says that mam cha what is that karshayanta sir insulting whether he is affected or not you are insulting so you look at it everything is created by ishwara you do some karma you offer what is you offer flowers to the lord do you get punya by that mm-hmm. why should you get punya by offering something which belongs to ishwara to him him to ishwara mm-hmm. why should you get punya but you do get that is the setup right so by someone who is see, ishwara is not affected at all whether or not you do punya whether or not you do papa hmm. but still he has to he is bound to give you result now to give result some karma has to be generated and that karma generation is based on your karma now whether the entire prapancha with good and bad belongs to ishwara you pick based on your own samskara you pick and do good offering whatever is said by in dharma shastra if you follow that you get punya mm-hmm. you are not doing something you know which you have generated you have not created those flowers but still the karma and the attitude will get you punya similarly here this sakshi sakshi bhuta ishwara who has to give karma phala he has to witness that and here karshayanta is, is what we loosely say that taking cue from earlier words we say this tapas will afflict the bhuta grama and we extend that meaning here but then bhagwan bhashyakara says that what is karshayanta narayanam karshayanta here is madanu shasana akaranam eva madanu shasana karanam means madanu shasana akaranam eva mat karshanam so whether he is affected or not this is the effect 
the end resultant is that it will result in something that was expected out of you which has not been done therefore you have been doing something which is not as expected and thereby it will accrue papa and how is it explained it is explained by by this this itself is an insult or a torture to bhagwan that you are not doing what you have been told to do through the dharma shastra hmm. okay. okay so sakshi bhuta but then sakshi just like that's why i said you have to think ahead as to how sakshi is affected sakshi is affected by just being a witness he is not really affected but the effect is not being affected there is an effect and that is can be explained only by saying that it is not following what bhagwan has said in the dharma shastra mm -hmm. does that help you understand yes yes this uh, madanu shasana karana meva that helps anything else okay. No, Palyan, Palyan, did you have a question? Yeah, I just wanted to know uh, Marana Kale we have used in that uh, Bhashya in uh, yeah. third. So Marana, it should be throughout the life no, for the good samskaras to come. Good samskara, yes. It? But what will define the uh, what will define the janma? Marana Kala. We have seen this in the earlier chapter also. The ending yeah, verse, right in the earlier chapter. Last right. verse. What? See, that's hmm. why the. Entire life has to be lived in such a manner that the marana kala becomes good. Becomes yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. And this is what the Chaitri Upanishad. Chaitri Upanishad says that. What does it say? In, uh, been long since I chanted. It says that. Uh, <laughs> what is that? It says that um, uh, a person uh, on the deathbed. Na tapataha. So. साधुर्म that that yeah, does not I, I, affect I, I, the person when will it affect it will at the marana kala only so when does that yeah. happen when a person gets jnana then they don't aff afflict otherwise for each and every person there will be effect understood okay so thereby the last moment will define see why last moment because last moment brings back the samskaras brings the samskaras for they, they they bring it at the forefront thereby defining the gati thereby the defining the gati of which janma person will take next which sharira one will take is defined by the last moment which itself is defined by the entire life living the life in a particular manner so therefore marana kala is important okay okay understood थैंक मंत्र Okay. Okay. Anything else? No. Namaste. Okay. Namaste.